Number 41. Evaluate the limit of n squared minus 4 all over n squared minus n minus 2 as n approaches 2. Is it 7 fourths, 4 thirds, infinite, or does not exist? If you could actually see from here, if you substitute n by 2, it will become 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form for this case. So we have an indeterminate form. So for this one, we could actually see that both numerator and denominator are factorable. The n squared minus 4 in the numerator could be factored as n minus 2 times n plus 2, whereas the denominator could be factored as n minus 2 times the quantity n plus 1. If you could see further that n minus 2 is a common factor of both numerator and denominator, that is why you could cancel them and that gives you the limit of n plus 2 all over n plus 1 as n approaches 2. From here, we can now substitute n by 2. So we have 2 plus 2 all over 2 plus 1 or you get 4 thirds letter B. 42. What do you call the sum of the entries in the main diagonal of a square matrix? What do you call the sum of the entries in the main diagonal of a square matrix? Is it trace, span, invertible, or vector? The correct answer here is trace. In fact, the trace of a square matrix A denoted by trace of A is defined to be the sum of the diagonal entries of A. For example, if I have here this matrix A, the main diagonal is from the upper left to the bottom right, the numbers there. So we have 3, 2, and 0. That's why the trace of A is 3 plus 2 plus 0 or 5. And note as well that the trace of the product of two matrices, which is AB, is the same as that of BA. 43. Which of the following is or are true about 3 by 3 square matrices? Is addition commutative, addition associative, multiplication is commutative, or multiplication is associative? Did you go for 1 and 2? 1, 2, 3? 1, 2, 4? Or 1, 2, 3, 4? Remember this, is addition commutative? Is addition of three by three square matrices commutative? Yes, A plus B is the same as B plus A. Is it associative? Yes, as well. For number three, is multiplication commutative? Remember, in general, the product of any square if you have two square matrices, A and B, in general, AB is not equal to BA. That is why multiplication of matrices is generally not commutative. However, multiplication is associative. That's why 1, 2, and 4 are correct. 3 is wrong. Hence, letter C is the correct answer. 44. I hope you are ready. The trace of the square matrix A, let's denote it by TR of A, some trace really spell out the word trace, is the sum of the diagonal elements. If A with uh, this matrix and B is this matrix, find the trace of A plus trace of B. Is it 19, 21, 24, or 26? From here, if you have your matrix A, the entries in the main diagonal are 3, 4, and 1. And therefore, the sum of these entries is 3 plus 4 plus 1, which is 8. So the trace of A is 8. For the second matrix B, 
the entries in the main diagonal are 1, 3, and 9. So the trace of that is the sum of this of 1, 3, and 9, which is 13. And since you're looking for trace of A plus trace of B, then you have 8 plus 13, which is 21, letter B. I hope you got it. Okay, I hope you got it. 45. Find the cofactor of A sub 33 in this matrix. 848, 115, 3, negative 1, 4. Did you go for A, negative 4, B, 0, C, 4, or D, 8? What is your answer? So to determine the cofactor of this matrix, we have uh, to use the formula, the cofactor of Aij is equal to negative 1, raise that to the sum of the i and j, and determinant multiplied by the determinant of A. Take note, i here represents for the row, j here represents for the column. And for to get the A here, we have to erase the 8 ayat row and the j column. So since we are looking for a, the cofactor of A sub 33, of A 33, to do this, we will delete the third row and the third column. The first number is for the row and the second number is for the column. So delete this row, delete also this column. That's why we have eight, four, one, one left here as your matrix. And using the formula now, we have negative one raised to three plus three times the determinant of the matrix that was left after deleting the third row and the third column. So you have this. Negative one raised to three plus three becomes negative one raised to six. And to get the determinant of this two by two matrix, just multiply eight times one and subtract it with one times four. I hope you are familiar in getting the determinant of a two by two matrix. Negative one to the six is positive one and multiply that with eight minus four. You have one times four or four. So the cofactor of a sub 33 is four letter C. Forty six. Which is true for subgroups of a group? Is it subgroups form a partition of a group? The intersection of two subgroups is empty. The union of two subgroups is also a group. The intersection of two subgroups is also a group. What do you think? Remember this. A subgroups form a partition of a group is in fact incorrect. Why? Because sub, when we speak about partition, then these subgroups should be mutually exclusive. But the fact that it's important that each of them has an identity element, then therefore, they do not form a partition because they have a, an intersection. The intersection of two subgroups is empty. It's also false because they should have at least one element, which is the identity element. So the intersection of two subgroups is never empty. The union of two subgroups is also a group. This is, in fact, false. It is possible, like for the Klein 4 group, that if you take their union, then the union... Uh, will not be a group because sometimes closure is not satisfied. And for letter D, the intersection of two subgroups is also a group. This is in fact correct. So remember, intersection of subgroups is a group, but their union is not necessarily a group. 47. List four smallest elements of the set Y such that y is equal to 2x plus 1, where x is an element of natural numbers. Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 5, 7, 
3579 or 3456. If you have this, all you have to do is, since you're looking for the first four smallest, the smallest, the four smallest natural numbers are one, two, three, and four. So substitute X with one, two, three, four, and evaluate to solve for Y. So if X is one, you have two times one plus one, which is three. If X is two, you have two times two, plus 1, which is, this is 4 plus 1, which is 5. If x is 3, you have 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1 gives us 7. And lastly, and lastly, if x is 4, you will have 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 1, you have 9. Hence, the first 4, or the four smallest elements, or the first 4 elements of this set, is three five seven nine letter C forty eight factor over the integers by grouping the three x cubed plus x squared plus six x plus two. Did you go for A, B, C, or D? What do you think is correct? So from here, we will employ factoring by grouping. So I will take this one as my first group, the 3x cubed plus x squared. And you could see that the GCF of these first two terms is x squared. That's why I took x squared out. 3x cubed divided by x squared gives you 3x. x squared divided by x squared gives you plus 1. I also group the 6x plus 2. And the GCF of 6x and 2 is 2. 6x divided by 2 is 3x. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So you have it here. And after this, can you notice a common factor? Yes. In fact, you could see that 3x plus 1 is a common factor of these two terms. Hence, factoring out 3x plus 1, that gives you 3x plus 1. The first term divided by 3x plus 1 will be x squared. The second term here divided by 3x plus 1 will be plus 2. Hence, if you answered A, congratulations, you got it right. 49. Use absolute value notation to describe the given situation. The distance between x and 3. A, B, C, or D? What do you think is correct? From here, remember this. If you have this one, the distance D between two points A and B in the number line is in fact the absolute value of their difference. So following the same logic, the first one, if you let A, if B, if you let the first one be, if you let X, if you let A be equal to X, sorry for that. So, and you let the second one be three, then the distance between them is the absolute value of X minus three, letter D. And lastly, number 50, all perpendicular bisectors of triangle ACE are drawn, and they intersect at point G. What do you call point G? Is it an orthocenter, in center, circumcenter, or centroid? Let's discuss these choices. When we speak about orthocenter, it is the intersection of the three altitudes. In center, is the intersection of the three angle bisectors. Circumcenter is the, is the intersection of three perpendicular bisectors. And for letter D, centroid, it is the intersection of the three medians. Hence, if you answered C, great job. 
So I hope you got these items correctly. And if you did, great. With that, TYVM, thank you very much. And a great day to one and all. God bless everyone.